We're back, baby. Say it, we're back. I am back. What it do, baby? We are back, baby. Never let them know your next move. Where have we been? Why didn't we make a video for over a week? We work a storm. Tell Where them about, been? Tell them about storm work. You know, sometimes it's great. Sometimes it's really, really great. It's never bad. Sometimes we get disappointed. Like, but it's never bad. We got no work this time. Yeah. We didn't get much work, so we were only gone for a week. The guys went out there and killed it. We had damn near triple-digit crews working for JDR, which is... Big numbers. That, big numbers. If you guys aren't part of the crew, what are you? You put me on the spot here. A loser? I, a, yeah. a, a, a I don't bum? know if we can call them losers. A bum? They're bums. They're definitely you're bums. Bum. If you ain't on, if you ain't on the crew, you're bum. If you guys are interested in Storm Work, hit me up. Uh, send me an email, johndockrecovery at gmail.com. I'll put it in the first link in the description below. How's the pay? Great. How's the work? Great. It's relatively easy. It's, it's super easy. All right, name the best part about storm work. Getting paid. What's the worst part about storm work? Is there any bad there's really no, there's really no bad parts of storm work. I guess waiting, maybe waiting. Yeah, sometimes you're waiting. You're like, you're just like, hey, can we go to work yet? And they're like, no, not yet. That's probably the worst part. If you guys are interested, uh, we keep building, we're growing. Uh, everything is going amazing. I want to thank all of the new guys that came out, that came on board from the YouTube channel. Thank you guys for working. Thank you guys for coming out. Uh, we're operating with literally like a zero or one percent turnover, so retention is absolutely amazing. Everyone seems to be enjoying it. The goal is go out there, work, get you guys paid. You guys can build some race cars. We go and wait for the next storm to happen. So if you guys are interested, hit me up, John Doc Recovery at gmail.com. We have some trucks that we can put you in, uh, but we prefer if you have your own truck, three quarter ton truck. We have transit tanks we'll hook you up with. All the equipment we'll hook you up with. We just got to get you out in the field, and then you'll fall in love just like everyone else. So that's why I, I've been. Oh, look at the getup. I got my boots on. Scott said I look like a big construction worker today. Scott. Yes. I think it's the longest that we've been apart, but we're reunited. It's been a week. It's been it's been a whole week. It's been a whole week. And we ended up going to the racetrack. As soon as I get here. That's it. <laughs> so we're taking the vet to the racetrack. Last time we were at the track, I, I don't I don't even know if I put the video out, but we had um, four cars at the racetrack. It was insanity. Yes. We made a test hit in uh, the silverback and it went a little bit left and uh it was not ideal scott made a chassis adjustment we went up there feeling real good about the chassis adjustment how hype are you to go out and see what it does i'm mad we didn't get to see but we're gonna find out tonight we literally we're waiting in the lanes huge wait we get close and they close the track early so the track prep at galat last time wasn't really ideal don't worry you weren't leaving the starting line yeah no uh mason made a pass and hank and the first time ever hank spun the tires off the hit same tune-up that's been in it for i don't know six seven eight months a year totally the same exact tune-up goes down every time it's fun so uh we're excited to get back to the track appreciate you guys checking out today's video thank you guys for watching thank you guys for hanging around even though we were gone and uh we're just gonna get to the racetrack darlington dragway and we're gonna have some fun tonight back at the track back at the track it's been a while look how excited i am you don't look that excited no i'm pretty excited um street car stuff I mean, this thing is slicker than baby shit is that even a thing is baby shit slap uh, I want to take a second to talk about today. The sponsor for today's video, Under Armour, came on board, hooked me up with their sick boots. Look at these things, pow! They're not steel toe, so uh, I don't know. I don't, does that? Not no, they they are steel toe. Oh, wink, wink. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I can run in these. I'm agile as hell. Oh, let's see you run in them. No, he thought. He thought. No, I like these. though. they're nice. They're nice. Uh, Justin uh, boots. They used to sponsor the channel. Uh, I don't know if we're moving away from that or not, but I'm really liking Under Armour boots. So thank you, Under Armour, for coming on board. Uh, also. I want to think primary arms. They're solid. I don't know if I can do it like Dave. Come on, one time. Primary arms. There you go, there you go. Um, all right, so uh, Silverback Z06. Mm. We'll try to get to go down track. Scott, at the racetrack. What are we about to do here? Oh, see if we go straight, not left. So uh, when you uh, have a race car, you're come closer. You're like two miles away. Dude, it, yeah, you it's zoomed in. It's there. It has stock shocks. No, no. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Stock springs. This is. Stock everything. So when we go to the racetrack, like, hey, Scott, come here. We got to talk for a second. Oh, oh, someone hit the tires. The track feels really good out there. Um, Scott's been helping me with the chassis on the black car and the white car. Uh, if you guys see them go down track, they go down track absolutely perfectly straight. You can practically drive them with one hand. Um, and that takes, I mean, a lot of testing and tuning. But the cars are set up where they got nice anti-roll bars on them. Uh, well, Slick Rick does. The black sheep's a little bit tired. Um, Still works. Making bar adjustments, rear steer, getting all that stuff. You got to dial them in. It takes some time. So then when we come over to something like this, uh, where it's got a leaf spring, like one leaf spring in the rear. No uh, shock adjustments no, of any kind. Stock shocks all around. Uh, the only adjustment really on the car has got tow, or tow rods? What are they? Yeah, it's like it, aftermarket. It, it, it just sets the rear wheel alignment. 
Yep. It's nothing. So not really like a tuning tool. No. And then uh, the ride height adjustment on the leaf spring. So that's our our, all, <laughs> our only chassis adjustment is right to left ride height. We're just gonna try to make that tire hook harder so it'll go straight. And, and there's a couple strategies. Uh, one of them is if you can't, if that, if, the car wants to drive left as power comes in. It's very soft off the 60 foot, um, but uh, we're gonna have to jack one side up way high on tire pressure. Like uh, essentially make one tire larger than the other. Tune it like a hard tail dragster. Yeah. So <laughs> we're gonna see. Like we're like we're fighting with. We got no like we got no arsenal to fight with. But we're we're figure it out. Yeah, we'll, I'm, I'm, we'll get it down to racetrack. Now. Get it up. Yeah. We've been down track before, but now we're gonna try to go real fast. So we might be breaking shit tonight. We don't know. Yeah, going slow is really easy. First rip down, we, uh, we we made a small adjustment, clearly not large enough. We made a full adjustment. There's no more adjustment we could do in the leaf spring after this pass, and that's our only adjustment other than tire pressure. So we're gonna see if this does anything. Uh, dude, the car is, it's like big toe horsepower, but it's big toe enough to be too much for what GM said was good for 505 horsepower. Yeah, it's a very stock car, but it's a very <laughs> not stock car. But... Yeah, so we are, uh, we had a big adjustment here, see what it does. We get to go straight, then we're gonna start applying more power. The issue is if this goes straight right here, when we turn it up more, it's gonna go harder left. So I gotta order an inner roll bar for it or some sort of rear end adjustment because it is just, uh, are we're, they, not an option on these? they are, well, it's just stock. It's just stock for, for no reason other than being stock. Chris, why'd we keep everything stock on this? What's the reasoning behind it? The reasoning? Yeah, there, I mean. Just the <laughs> Fastest leaf spring Corvette in America. Fast Fastest full interior, <laughs> fastest heated seat, fastest, fastest navigation, navigation, double headed unit, <laughs> fastest battery computer, ish. Oh my God! So, uh, so yeah, we're gonna see what we can do. As you can see, it's got the, like the, the cheetahs, the zebras on the tire. Um, I, if, if if we're just gonna band aid it with tire pressure, we can. Track feels good. Drawing like your dragway on kill like always. So we're gonna go up here and make another rip. Shout to Mason lining up and filming. Great job, bro. Great job. <laughs>
All right, y'all, you guys can see on that pass, we kind of got it going straighter, which is good, but it laid over pretty hard up top. I'll play the clip again so you can hear. If you listen closely, you can hear when it gets out there in high gear, it just stops increasing RPM, pretty much uh, hit boost safety in the holly, so it just reverted back to wastegate. That's my bad. I didn't look at that, so uh, we're going to go back and pull the tune-up out of it, probably put more power in it, and remove the boost safeties. So we'll play it again. Just listen to it clearly. You can hear on, once it clicks high gear, it just keeps just holding one RPM. Well, you can tell there that I didn't turn the boost safety off. I increased the shift RPM, which it seemed to like, and then I made it hit the boost safety earlier. So I suck, and we're going to go back, turn it up some more. It likes more RPM on the shift, and we're actually going to try to turn the boost safety off. So if we can get this thing to actually go down track, that would be good. Uh, also, after looking at the data logs, we noticed there's something kind of wrong with the TPS and the throttle body so we have to like make some adjustments to kind of get that where it is like actually going past 80% throttle We had some issues with getting the data log started and some other things But you know this is the first time we really ran the car in about eight months. So we're just working the bugs out of it All right Oh, you need me in there? All right. All right Do you need tools, Scott? Oh, SP tools in the front <laughs> Hit him with that discount code uh, uh, John.10 Get 10% off 10 SP tools off Everything. First link in the description below. Yeah, everything. Oh, sorry, yeah. second. First one's John Doc Recovery. And if we go two tenths faster, we're gonna give twenty percent off. Oh wow! Yo, you tell you're you're really giving them time somewhere you know a three ninety. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're fighting a little uh, throttle cable issue where it won't allow me to go to one hundred percent. You want me to floor it? So I floor it down here, and it only goes to seventy uh, percent. And uh, here, take that up there and show them how Scott can go. I'll go Scott. Right Show, show them how far you can get wide open. It so, won't. Well, I've got this all wet oh, now, but it, now. It, it yeah. won't. It's only seventy percent. I let up on it. See now. It won't I mean, close. is that right? It won't close now. Uh, but in all reality, I am. I am a a, a bad son of a gun at seventy percent TPS. Oh yeah. I'm just seventy percent TPS on this side of the this Mississippi. side of the Mississippi. The other side, we don't know what other people are doing, but we got this side locked down. Stop. Uh, right there. There's a red car that runs similar, isn't it? Uh, I, if you guys can't tell when you hear the video where it just loses power, I forgot to turn the boost safety off. Chris is a big boost safety guy. I don't know why. That's like his thing. He's like always monitoring boost and stuff. So, uh, you know, reverse, reverse back to wastegate. So I took that out. I had to request permission. But you took it out twice. Yeah, this is the right. second time you took it out. I thought I took it out. I didn't take it out. I'm going to check it before we go up there again to make sure it's okay. out. But uh, car driving good. How's it look from the start line? Oh, it looks good. Yeah. It looks... Easy. Tailpipes. They're, they're dumped at the diff. Yeah. I need to get them past the diff. Well, we ain't got much room back there. No, we don't. We have to go an uh, inch and seven eighths tailpipe. <laughs>
All right, so we just made our first full pass in the car in literally like eight months, which it felt pretty good. The car is very fast for what it is. It's got a six-point cage in it, and it's stock suspension, like the whole rear cradle and everything is factory with a factory like wooden leaf or fiberglass leaf, whatever the hell it is. It's not great for drag racing. Uh, and it's independent rear suspension. So I, I was happy with that. If you guys can tell just by listening to how the car goes down track, very soft up front just because – We've broken a lot of stuff trying to hit it hard up front, and it's wheelie prone. I mean, there's no there's no anti squat, there's no separation, there's no instant center. It's just like you try to limit the rear squat to one inch, and then control the front shock to control the front end, and that's pretty much it. Uh, it's got some strange shocks up front, but it's like factory like OEM shock in the rear, so there's no shock tuning or anything like that so the only thing that we could do is just kind of roll it out the hole and then pour some power into it the car's got the same exact motor same exact bottom end as the black sheep in it um it's black sheep stage three uh, with some cathedral port heads some badass cathedral port heads a uh, solid roller deal it is not turned up at all and it's absolutely flying so we're going to go back after that pass uh pull the data log out of it look at it we got the tps situation fixed so i think it's really important when we go to test you know a lot of people are like oh man you know they don't understand testing is you're just trying to chip away at the little things make the car more consistent more redundant more reliable and we get faster every pass when we test when we go out there and test uh i would say we don't really waste a lot of time we're out there we're making laps it's like work you know we're out there make some laps get some data make some changes get better so i was happy with how everything was going uh, scott was really doing an amazing job getting the car to drive straight i was just worried about the power management and driving scott made the car drive straight so it uh you know the darlington dragway track was on kill can't thank them enough so every, everything was working really good we turned it up one more time uh just pretty much what i was doing is i was looking at the the data log and where the power it's coming in is a little bit later than, than where I wanted it to. Um, the converter kind of rolls the RPM over pretty hard and it kind of dips and comes back up. So I try to put more power in the dip. I prefer to do all my power management with timing, like leave on a lot more boost and do it with timing. That way, like I can just go right there and then put more timing in there because boost, sometimes you're waiting on it. So we turn it up a little bit, trying to get it run a little bit better at 330 kind of the opposite of what i'm used to and with all the straight axle cars and the race cars i'm trying to go as fast as i can to the 60 foot and as fast as i can to 330 so i don't have to run it super hard out the back to run good et but this one here you know it's a street car independent rear suspension a lot of stock components you're forced to just get it out the hole and then if you make horsepower give it some horsepower i'd say power wise we're probably using about 60 percent of the potential power of the car i can say that just because i know what what the motor will make because we have one in the race car you usually look at the fuel consumption it's not consuming barely any fuel compared to the black car so um turn it up one more time sorry i don't have like great down track footage literally we went to the track last minute all the guys are working storms mason got cut and came back early so mason's you know reward for getting cut from the storm early <laughs> he gets to go to the racetrack with me and film and work so uh, shout out to mason for filming but hopefully you guys uh just enjoy the video first one back in a while so let's check out this last pass and then uh we'll send you guys off
there you have it any legit street cars i know we use the push vehicle pushing it back and forth to the lanes yeah i'm sorry i'm trying to make as many laps as i can and keep it cool but we could drive that sucker anywhere any legit street cars looking smoke you know things got a radiator stock seats heated seats navigation you name it it's got it if you guys want smoke hit me up silverback z06 will whoop that ass uh you know out here just setting records we got uh the world's fastest uh stock monos leaf spring i think that's what they call it uh, with factory heated seats and a double what's it what tyler what's it called a double den radio or something like that uh yeah i mean this out right here setting records so if you guys want smoke uh hit me up get in my dms tag me on instagram comment down below haul your street car everyone that wants to race they're like oh i got some faster come to my track no that's not how it works y'all want to race the silverback z06 i guarantee i chop your head off on the tree literally all those lights i was 030 or faster holding the button in my hand in a damn street car so you guys can come here kiss my bare ass uh i went yeah, full interior. I went 001 on like the third pass, which is just disgusting because it's a street car. Most of you guys out there are probably on point one six because you guys don't know how to cut a tree. I mean, it's just if you guys want a good old classic ass whooping, you guys know how to find me. You guys can come down to Darlington Dragway, our home track, and we will spank that ass around. Bring your wallet, bring your friends' wallets. I'll bring pillows so you guys can ride on them for your sore ass and way home. So there you go. Uh, what's that? Gel cool. I'm getting phone calls. Is this someone talking shit? Probably not because they're worried about it.